everyone, what is going on? It's Wilson, and right now, this is one of the top fighters coming out of China that I'm watching right now. Song Ya Dong fighting out of China, Team Alpha Male, and he's um, currently right now fighting for the UFC. He's previously fought for one championship. He, he competed in a lot of leagues. Uh, he's definitely in my mind right now one of the top fighters uh, coming out from China, or at least one of the top Chinese fighters, along with other fighters like uh, Li Kai Wang. Uh, but I feel like uh, this is definitely the one that I'm watching right now. Um, he, he was training in Sacramento earlier and now he's back in China. But he's uh, fighting for the Bantamweight division. And I'm going to share some fun facts that you didn't know about uh, Song Adong. Uh, pretty much, um, he, he grew up, he trained at the Shaolin Temple uh, Kung Fu for, for two years before he left. And then he's nicknamed the Monkey King. Originally, he was he was calling himself the Terminator, but he felt like the Monkey King represented more of the Chinese culture, so he decided to change his fight name to the Monkey King uh, to pay respect to the traditional arts. Later on, he trained Wushu, um, as well as uh, started fighting professional MMA. So, some fun facts, real quick: he um, he worked at the security guard, and he worked um, at food stands before he actually started his MMA career. Now he was fighting MMA on the side with a fake ID starting at 15 years old. This guy is super young, he's super talented. He looks old, but he's actually only 21, 22 years old right now. And he he doesn't really have a unique fighting style um, that makes him stand out, but he's very aggressive. And he's a very, very powerful overall fighter uh, in general. He can do submissions, he, he was able to submit um, one of uh, one of the guys out in the uh, the former UFC fights. He's done. He's really really good striker. Uh, I'll show you a clip right now of him knocking out Perez, which was like the highlight of all fights. He actually won an award for that at the last UFC event. And I'll actually show you that event right now before I continue on. From him to see, he's wild and aggressive, but it's tight. Like the way he's throwing his face in, looking for. Oh! Man, Perez definitely didn't know what happened after that. He looked confused as hell. But anyways, so Song I don't definitely want these top fighters to walk out. But as you can tell, in all these highlight videos, he's super aggressive. Very well striker as well as he can handle grappling really well. He does say that grappling isn't his his uh, his best um, best type of skill set, but he's been training very closely with Uriah Jafar Faber uh, to work on his uh, jujitsu skills over at Sacramento at Team Alpha Mayo. He's made a lot of improvements. He said his defense got a lot better. He was able to bulk himself up in a couple ways to fight in Phantom class. I'm looking forward to this guy seeing more and more fights from him and seeing more and more striking skills. He's very solid. He doesn't jump around, doesn't bounce around. Uh, not like some of these annoying fighters. But um, like I said, no specifically unique style. He can utilize every single part of his body really well. And as he does more and more training with the Team Alpha Male guys, with your Roger Faber, I can see him being one of the top stars coming out from China. And it's definitely somebody I'm watching to watch him fight more main cards in the near future. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and support Yong Sa Dong. Um, and if you like the video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll be coming back for more. Support the Monkey King, support China, support MMA and have a nice day everyone.